All right, the first thing that we need to animate a text along path is actually just a text plus. That's it. If you want, you can already add your text right here, but we're gonna be working in Fusion. So just open this in Fusion and you're good to go. All right, now the first thing, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so that we can see this on screen. And we're gonna move this around a little bit. All right, now first, if you want, you can customize your text, text path, let's say. And then let's add a cooler font already. Now for the next step, go to layout. Now change the type to path and that will allow you to draw a path around your screen. We can start the point right here if you want or on the left side. And then let's say we wanna end it right here. We can adjust the curves like this. And if we go to the position on path, we can use that to animate this. All right, now there's a missing piece. If you don't want to just leave the text like that alone, then we need to do something with the polygon. So we're gonna add a background over right here. Press Ctrl T so the background is actually behind our text. And now we are going to add a polygon right here and we're gonna connect this to the background. You can change the background color to whatever color you want it to be. In this case, we're gonna use yellow. Now we're gonna right click here and then go to connect to and template and then path. Now on this polygon, we can go to the border width and now we have a line right here. Okay, now to animate these, we can actually animate these. Let's say we wanna animate the position of the line first. So we're gonna go and animate from zero to frame 24 line right here. And then the text is gonna come a little bit behind. So let's say at 12, so we're gonna go to the template here and we're gonna animate the position of our text. Start right here with it off screen now we're gonna go let's say frame 32 bring this all the way there and then after that is done we can actually make our line disappear as well if you want to do that so go to position create a keyframe we're gonna add 12 more frames and then we're gonna move these like that if we take a look at these it's a little bit fast right and we cannot see that much of the text because it's white it's a little bit harder to see. We're gonna make this black. So what can we do about this? Well, first of all, we're gonna open the spline tool and I'm gonna make this a little bit higher so we can see this on screen. Select everything and fit to screen. If we select everything, we can adjust the time of these by going to this box, or the shape box or the time stretch. Either or will work. If we do the time stretcher, then it moves everything like that. And I think it's all relative when it moves using the time stretcher. So we have the line right here, the text, and then the path. Now if the text is a little bit too fast, well, then we deactivate this. If the text is a little bit too fast, make this lower by adjusting this line like that right there. And then we can just select everything, press F, use T to, to open the ease in and out options right here. And then we can play around with how this looks like that. So if you wanna create some sort of like a transition, something that comes on screen for a little bit, and then you can use this technique. Now, if you wanna create something a little bit more complex like these, that has a lot more parts on it, then there's a couple of things that you wanna do. But I will show you that in a future video because that's a little bit more complicated and it will take a little bit more time to explain. So stay tuned for that and I'll be sharing a, a video showing you this more complex process, which is not that complex actually. But I'll show you that in a future video. Now, before you leave, make sure to check out bundle.swally.com to see the bundle collection that I created with over a thousand tools and elements for DaVinci Resolve. That is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one here in Swally. Bye.